Hey, what's up? Darts here. Now, I've been holding off doing a video on the Jill and Christian. It's been a while, probably about last year, maybe I made a few videos on the Jill and Christian around about the time when he was crying, saying that I'm gonna go and have to get a job because YouTube isn't paying me enough money, go and get a job. You know what I mean? While I'm working 40 to 50 hours a week in my job or trying to also get a career diplomas and so on in electrical engineering is the plan you know this guy Vigilant Christian uses YouTube as his income yeah so anything you see on the channel okay puts in the you know put it, it's put in a way to entice you to click on it Hey fellow Christians, I've reached millions of people, he says, all around the world. I've been I've been able to I've been able to reach millions of people all around the world, yeah? Expose evil, blah 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 blah. What about the evil that this guy's doing? Huh? Now, sex texting and all that kind of stuff to the side, yeah. yeah this guy's not a Christian, just like an ordinary guy. A normal man would do that sort of thing. Yeah? And he should just claim to be a normal guy and not some sort of saint or leader of a Christian movement with his ministry. It's an embarrassment to Christianity. That's probably one of the reasons why I can't call myself a Christian because there's too many people like this around. Okay, that have ulterior motives. I read the Bible. I see how it fits in real life. I don't agree with everything in there, but I try and uh, read and understand. But there are definitely parts in the Bible that I have read that match up exactly to what I have experienced. It's a personal thing. Yeah. I also believe that Jesus was sacrificed and so on. Right. Now, how can this guy say that he's like a, like a leader of a ministry and so on, but yet... Let himself get caught out doing sex texts between him and a woman, right? And he's admitted himself that he was texting this woman back and forth and sending pictures of himself. We've got that. Yeah, pictures of him naked in order to get her to send pictures back. Now, when, it, when this first arised, he turned around and said that somebody's trying to slander me and it's basically lies, don't believe it. But then he had to come out and say, actually, yeah, it is true. I did text this person and I was trying to get them to reveal naked pictures of themselves to me via my, you know, by, by his texts, okay? Mm, that's not very Christian, is it? And even if a man was to do that, with his, oh, I've reached millions of people around the world, influence of millions of people around the world, millions of Christians around the world, why would he allow himself to be caught doing that kind of thing? Being a Christian leader as he, as he claims to be. Of his own little Christian ministry. Hmm? How can he allow himself to let somebody... Did he think to himself, oh hold on a minute, couldn't this person take my photos or take my messages? And how do you trust that person? Looking lustfully at this woman. You want to look lustfully at this woman. Don't blame ca blame cannabis. Most people have done a bit of cannabis here, you know, here and there in the past. Yeah. Most of us grew out of it and realised it's a waste of money. Yeah. I mean, what annoys me as well is the fact that he's he, he's saying he can't go and get a job and you know try and basically basically entice people to go on his Patreon. When all the while he's been spending his patron money that these kind Christians have given him for his ministry, he's been spending it on drugs. I mean, how is that acceptable? That annoys me. It just annoys me. But people like this are leaders of movements that reach so many people and he was just so careless and so stupid. I mean, can't blame cannabis. For, for all your problems and all your issues. Go and get a job. Go and get a real career. And stop using YouTube as your way of making money. 
Yeah. That's my opinion, you know. But whatever. Vigilant Christian needs to change that. It should be something more like vigilant. You know, what your vigilant fallacy thing you keep doing. Because that's what you are. You're, you're, you're walking, at the moment, you're a walking contradiction. And ammo for any person out there who wants to debunk Christianity and turn around and say it's just Satanism in disguise. You know what I mean? Seriously. <sighs> <clears throat> hmm.